Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Corley. The purpose of this bill, according to the bill's explanatory memo, is to consolidate and update the legislative provisions that uh, regulate the employment permit system namely the Employment Permit Act 2003 and 2006. And Minister, I would like, uh, also like to take this opportunity to thank the staff in the office uh, in the Department of Enterprise. Um, there, I don't want to be sing singling out anyone, but there's one specific lady who's outstanding in her job, absolutely outstanding in her job, and bends over backwards in every way, shape or form to help us get permits for doctors or chefs and many more. And is, uh, that lady is more than willing to help with any work permit that we have to make, uh, that we have to make representations, and sometimes we forget to, to thank people who, who work in the department who may be critical, but, but you, you know you should call a, pay, a spade a spade too at the moment. I have a doctor in West Cork, and like many other issues here, like you know, it's very, very um, annoying. He has been working in Ireland for over five weeks. He cannot get a PPS number. While I am making representations for him, I find it hard to believe in these times of technology and fast turnaround that it can take so long to get a doctor a PPS number. The man needs to get paid, and without this number, he cannot. He now feels that his hands are tied. And if he doesn't get his PPS number soon, he is going to go back to his own country. Hard to believe when we can give out PPS numbers to people fleeing from war-torn countries with no identification that we are having trouble getting a PPS number for a doctor. Uh, I have another lady in West Cork who came here on a stamp zero. She is a grandmother. Her daughter came to Ireland years ago, married an Irishman and had children. The grandmother has no brothers and sisters or no other family member in the country she is from. She only has her daughter and her son-in-law and her grandchildren here in Ireland. The problem is, when the family originally applied for her to come here, they had plenty of money themselves. Now, because of COVID and other factors, they do not have the same amount of money available to them. And I've been told this uh, poor lady, their grandmother, may have to go back to the country she came from, where she has no family. Uh, her family is here, uh, and she should be able to stay at least on compassionate grounds. And there's a lot of issues like that, Minister, for small, frivolous reasons. Um, uh, you know, a person may have to return that you know is elderly and, and has the only one, uh, their only nearest relative is, is here in Ireland. We also have another man in West Cork who came into Ireland to work. He came working for an employer who applied for a, a work permit, but he, he he didn't like the job. And so that can happen. He's a human being, you know. You're not a, when you when you apply for a job, uh, you know, you'll always maybe uh, not fall in love with the job when you get it. Um, but and he has the opportunity to move to another. Uh, job and that should be facilitated in some way. I know this, it's difficult to find a, a, a very fair balance, but unfortunately that hasn't been allowed to him. And I also have a restaurant in West Cork who are waiting for work permits for two chefs, but the hoops they have to jump through are enormous, and the waiting period before they can apply is ridiculous. So I appreciate, Minister, these are issues that need uh, you know get a lot of help through your office to sort out a lot of issues, and it is a huge issue in, in, in West Cork because especially during the tourism season. Uh, but I, I look forward to working with you um, to make sure that these people get their opportunity. Thank you.